This next song uh, makes everybody think that I um, come from Seattle. I don't come from Seattle. I was actually born in Portland, Oregon, and I lived in uh, I lived in California for about a year. I lived right down the street in San Marcos for a long time. And, uh, lived in Memphis for a while. I got a place in Atlanta now. I ain't, I ain't never lived in Seattle at all. Rock and roll will never die. You just hang your hair down in your eyes, or you'll make a million dollars. I was in this band going nowhere fast. We sent out our demos, but everybody passed. So one day we finally took the plunge, went out to Seattle and started playing grunge. Washington State, that is. Space Needle. Eddie Vedder. Mud and Honey. to fit in fast we got flannel shirts and we turn our amps up until it hurts we got weird attitudes and what's more when we play we stare straight down at the floor Woo! how pensive how jim morrison Not to fit in on the Seattle scene, you gotta show them something that they have never seen. So thinking up a gimmick one day, we decided to be the only band that wouldn't play a note. <laughs> Under any circumstances, we called it silence, music's original alternative. <laughs> the roots grunge. <laughs> We spread the word through the underground that we were the hottest new young band in town. A record guy come out to see us one day, and just like always, we refused to play. Man, it knocked him out. He said he loved our work. He said he loved our work, but he wasn't sure if he could sell a record with no songs on it. I said, dude, we're from Seattle. <laughs> They advanced us two and a half million bucks. Hey, hey, my, my, rock and roll will never die. Hang your hair down in your eyes or you'll make a million dollars. Well, they made us do a video, but that wasn't tough because we just filmed ourselves smashing stuff. It was kind of weird because there was no music, but MTV said they'd love to use it. The kids went wild. The kids went nuts. Rolling Stone gave us five stars, said we played with guts. We are meeting chicks, taking drugs. They asked us to do MTV Unplugged. You should have seen us. We went right out there and refused to do acoustical versions of those electrical songs that we had refused to record in the first place. Then we smashed our shit. Well, we blew them away at the Grammy show by refusing to play and refusing to go. And then just when it looked like fame, it lasts forever. Along come uh, Ticketmaster. Hey, hey, my, my, rock and roll will never die. Hang your hair down in your eyes, or you'll make a million dollars. Well, our band got dropped, and that's not funny, because now we're hooked on drugs, but we're out of money. So the other day, I called up the band. I said, you guys, I've taken all I can. I say we shave off these goatees, pack the van, move back to Memphis. 